Before starting this video, if you are interested in making money from your phone, do not forget to use my POMO code on the OnesBet platform that appears on the screen, which will give you several bonuses on your first deposit. And also do not forget to subscribe to the Telegram channel to predict matches, the link to which you will find in the comments only. All you have to do is subscribe to our Telegram channel and use my POMO code and welcome to the real world. It may be a new Premier League season, but it appeared very much like the same old Manchester United at the weekend, with Eric Ten Hag's men failing to banish last year's demons after conceding at the death at the Amex. That 95th minute winner from an unmarked Joao Pedro ensured that it is now three seasons in a row in which United have fallen to defeat against Brighton and Hove Albion in the early knockings of a campaign, with bitter rivals Liverpool to come next in top flight action. Perhaps the Seagulls are merely a bogey team for Ten Hag, but Saturday's 2 to 1 loss has sparked concern that 2024 25 could well be more the same for the Red Devils with the continued woes of Marcus Rashford a particular worry. The England international, who scored just eight goals in all competitions last season, was withdrawn on the hour mark on the South Coast after a largely ineffective display, with pundit Alan Shearer noting that the 26-year-old is not a youngster anymore and needs to get his act together. More is certainly expected of the 300,000 pounds per week marksman, although perhaps he is simply in need of support behind him to finally get firing again. Man UTD's search for a left back. All the talk at present is centered around the old Trafford side's pursuit of Paris Saint-Germain midfielder, Manuel Ugarte, with a move for the Uruguayan seemingly all but done following the news that the 23-year-old is heading to England to undergo a medical. While it would be a surprise for further moves to follow after the capture of Ugarte, Journalist Graham Bailey has revealed that United have held talks with Chelsea over the signing of Ben Chilwell, with the Englishman one of many to have been exiled from Enzo Maresca's first-team squad. Interest in the £200,000 per week fullback has come amid the Blues' apparent pursuit of United's own outcast, Jadon Sancho, with it yet to be seen whether a swap deal involving the two compatriots could be on the cards. Why Ben Chilwell would be a good signing. Rashford himself must take a fair share of the blame for his woes of late, yet the lack of a recognized left-back behind him has certainly not helped matters, with Luke Shaw having made just 15 appearances last season, while Tyrell Malaysia hasn't featured at all for the club since May 2023. Shaw Man United Fernandez, with the pair both currently sidelined, and with young Harry Amass only 17, Ten Hag has been forced to turn to Diogo Dalot and Lissandro Martinez in that role in recent weeks, despite the pair more naturally suited to operating at right back and center back, respectively. As the Athletics' Carl Anka stated earlier this year, Rashford needs an overlapping fullback in order to truly fire at his best with the addition of a figure like Chilwell, even if just on a short-term basis, able to provide that attacking outlet. While the former Leicester City star has endured injury woes of his own in recent times, at his best he is a player with a great engine and a real willingness to bomb forward, as per Tony Cotti, ensuring he could be the overlapping presence that Rashford is craving. That is also backed up by the fact that the 27-year-old ranks in the top 10% among his peers in Europe's top five leagues for touches in the attacking penalty area, as well as in the top 9% for progressive passes received. The one-time £50 million man is also able to drive his side up the pitch as he ranks in the top 14% for progressive carries, further indicating that desire to join the attack and support the man ahead of him. Importantly, Chilwell also boasts the end product to match, having notably provided 21 goals and assists in 106 games for the West Londoners to date. That is not far off Shaw's return of 32 goal involvements but from 275 outings. It is perhaps no coincidence that Rashford's best scoring season, in which he scored 30 times in 2022-23, came in the same campaign in which Shaw made his joint most appearances for the club in a single term, 47, further proof of how the forward benefits when having a regular left back behind him. With Shaw having now become somewhat unreliable, however, it could take the signing of a figure like Chilwell to United's number 10 truly firing once again.